In this video, we're going to go over the concept of a test cross. A test cross is a tool that was devised by Gregor Mendel to determine whether an individual with a dominant appearing phenotype had one of two possible genotypes. They could be either homozygous dominant or heterozygote, because you'll remember that these two, in the case of complete dominance, appear the same. For example, an individual with brown eyes could be either homozygous dominant, meaning they received the brown allele from both of their parents, or maybe they're a heterozygote, and they still have brown eyes, but one parent gave a brown allele and the other perhaps a blue allele. So how do you tell these apart? On the level of the eye itself, for example, you wouldn't have any idea. You wouldn't be able to tell these apart. So you'd have to look at the alleles to know. But how can you do that? So of course, Gregor Mendel used pea plants to devise the concept of a test cross. So in pea plants, he looked at their seeds and in pea plants, yellow seeds were dominant. And the weird thing about genetics is that alleles are named based on what's recessive. So Let's say you had a green pea, and that's recessive, so the alleles would actually be named big G and little g, G being green for the recessive trait, so that's a little confusing, but if you can keep that straight, it'll really help. So big G, yellow, dominant, little g, green, recessive. So let's say we are starting out with a yellow pea. And we want to figure out, does this plant have a big G, big G genotype or a big G, little g genotype? So in this test cross, what Mendel did was he crossed an individual with this unknown genotype. All we know is that they have one big G. So unknown genotype with an individual that was entirely recessive, so a plant that was producing green seeds. But all we know about this parent is that they have one big G because it's green. Uh, sorry, yellow, because the, the seeds are yellow. But the second allele here may be a big G or a little g. So we're going to draw a Punnett square. Okay, and all we know right now is that at least half of the progeny are going to be yellow because these heterozygotes are yellow, but we don't know what's here. Now we have one of two options. Let's say it's a big G. Then these progeny are also going to be yellow. So you would have 100% yellow progeny. But let's consider the alternative. What if that were a little g? Now, if we were to do a test cross, we would get half of the progeny the same. They would be yellow. But now, because of this allele, this recessive allele for green seed color, the other half of the progeny would be green. And so, let's say Mendel did this test cross with a particular yellow pea, and in one test cross, uh, let's say there were a hundred progeny, you have two options. 
perhaps Mendel found that all 100 were yellow. Then we know the parent's genotype was big G, big G. However, if 50 of the progeny were yellow and 50 were green, then the parent had to have been a heterozygote. You can also look at multiple genes, so you could be comparing, let's say you want to know with the same yellow P, you also want to consider the P shape. So P's come in two varieties. In addition to color, they can be smooth or wrinkled. So this is obviously a smooth P. So if you had a smooth P and it was yellow, those are two dominant traits. You could, in theory, do a double test cross. So you could be looking at color and shape at once and do the same analysis that we did before. And the ratio of progeny, depending on how many are yellow or green, and how many are smooth or wrinkled would help you determine the parental genotype. So to summarize, in a test cross, you take an individual with a dominant appearing phenotype. And you cross that individual with, an in, with another individual that has a recessive appearing phenotype. And because of, in the case of recessive alleles, the phenotype is reflective of the fact that the genotype must also be recessive. So the genotype is also recessive. When you do this cross, you can figure out the genotype of this parent, since before the genotype is unknown. But if you cross this person, this plant rather, or this fly or this animal, with another individual of the same species, whose genotype is recessive, so in the case of those P's, little g, little g, then you can figure out the genotype of this individual. So remember, all we know is that we have a yellow P with one big G, but perhaps a big G or a little g in this space, crossed with an entirely recessive individual to figure out, are all of the progeny going to be yellow? Or will half of them be yellow? If they're all yellow, then you know the parent had to have been big G, big G. If half of them are yellow, half of them are green, then the parent had to have been a heterozygote. And that is the concept of the Mendelian test cross.